exactly. Me and my sister keep on having a thousand arguments about which Hogwarts house I'm in. I say I might be Hufflepuff for some time. And she thinks I'm a Ravenclaw. She doesn't consider that I'm kind and caring. And I could possibly be in Gryffindor since I am a bit brave and I have to cope with a lot of people being mean to me sometimes. <sighs> Right, there's only one way to settle this. Find a quiz online and that can be my sorting app. Um, hi viewers. Smell of movie here. I didn't see you there. Sorry. And today we're going to be finding out what Hogwarts house I'm in. And if I'm in your house, please comment below and give this video a like. Other houses can give this video a like as well. Right, let's get started. Right, let's see what the first question is. Sorry about being loud and hyper earlier. Hmm, that's a tough one. Let's see the options. The smell of a glorious pine forest under the setting sun. The smell of a roaring flame engulfing wood in a fireplace. What? No! The smell of the salt sea and a smell that could lead you to imagine the waves rolling onto the beach in your mind. The smell of flesh, black earth underneath my bare feet in the summer. Okay, none of those smell really nice, but the one that smells the most nice, or would least gross me out, would have to be the smell of the salty sea, and a smell that could lead you to imagine the wave is rolling onto the beach in your mind. Okay, let's see what we've got here for options. A threat a fox, a wolf, a dormouse, an owl. Um, hello? I would represent an owl because I am quite wise and clever but cunning and stealthy sometimes. Yeah, let's go with owl. Plus, I love owls! But they're not my favourite animal. Hmm, some of these look a bit nasty. In a large open field with onlookers, fans, and friends. In a forest where the sunlight focuses with a thin branch exploring in hills. Oh, okay, okay. We have to go on a sunny path for a meadow, or perhaps a glade, like. The other choices. The two. Ugh, no. Choice making. Hmm. That's hard. I like a lot of quality, my friend. So. Hmm. The way they treat others. Their resourcefulness. I'm gonna go for their intelligence and quick wit, quick wit because I am alright on my knowledge and committed to academic stuff, blah, blah blah blah. But I definitely do need someone intelligent by my back because I sometimes do not know how to get myself out of situations with bullies. But still, you always need a friend that can help you. We have links in this quiz. I did not know that. Well, um, I would probably go for the feeling of being somewhere where every piece of the earth is stuffed with history and knowledge, so my future is successful. Seriously. 
do I have to find? Okay, so my worst point would probably have to be my liberty to overpower people with knowledge. Because, like, in school, I am always a bit of, like, a... I need to get better at this, and I always sometimes beat people at knowledge, but I'm like really geeky on other stuff, so like anything, like all of the stuff I don't like, I'll be boasting to people, talking to people about it, and I'll be like literally filling them with knowledge on films and everything, and then my imagination goes crazy. Ask one of my friends, they'll know that. So yeah, definitely my ability to do that. Lovely! We're on to quotes. Um, I'd say I am I'm, I'm tempted to go for it is better to love, have loved and lost than have never loved at all. But I would go for something quite posh. I am a big kind of fan of posh stuff. I'm not posh myself. Mm. We are all born ignorant, but one must work hard to remain stupid. People call me stupid, so I'm gonna go for that one. Ah, mud blood. Oh, those muggles. Born. I feel sorry for them. They get teased by stupid slurrings. I really have them not for them. Okay, so. I know I'd go for judgment. I hate that pick people just pick on others. Can't be peace in the world. I 100% uh, agree with that, but it's the thing is. No opinion. I actually have no opinion on this. I do kind of agree with the first one, but I prefer to stay out of this. It's only a word for, you know, stupid bullying. Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah. Um, curses? I hate them! Okay, I'm just gonna go for... Um, Kuriyako? I would kill anyone no matter how horrible I am. I, uh, no, 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 no. Um, I'm just gonna stay off course. I'll stay loyal to whatever house I get put in bank. Yeah. I'm not lying. Okay, maybe friends of the Slytherin. That'll be fine. Oh, Slytherin. Uh, some people. Some people are good in the house, but some are terrible. Um, okay. Don't make me decide! My friend, you person. Don't want friends to die. Rude. Voldemort. Why would I follow him? He's evil. Um. Hmm. Which would be better for you though? If I go with you know who, I can zabble death await me. But then again, death does await me anyway. I'll just have to think about it a bit further, but I don't think I should join Voldemort. He's being evil. Apparently I got Ravenclaw. Cool. So, I've learned a good lesson. Never argue with your sister. Hmm. Well, I am the biggest geek ever, so I can understand why I'm in Ravenclaw. I still am really kind, though. Wink, wink. But it's cause for a nice celebration. Let's play some pickets, pictures. After I say, this has been Mel of Reeves. Thanks for watching.
You are very geeky and determined to see hard school. Better be Ravenclaw.